welcome to the boardroom today is just for fun. We're talking about something that you all grew up with, and uh, it's called Pez, and it's actually a card game. And the designer of this game is on the phone. His name is Mike Fitzgerald. Hi, Mike. Hi, Bob. Great to be here. Mike, I have to tell you the truth. I saw this game. I said, great, give it to the kids, and uh, I'm going to go play Mystery Rummy. <laughs> <laughs> but as, as we played it with the group, and I, I will tell you they were mainly uh, non-gamers, whatever that means, uh, uh, basic family game people, uh, they really enjoyed this game. And they, they got into the fun of it and the whole theme of it, and I, I just I was very impressed. Well, I'll share one thing with you. My wife is not an avid gamer, and this is the only game I've ever made that she actually requests to play. That that is remarkable. It must uh, well it, maybe this one's the one that becomes a mass market mega hit. Well, we're hoping. Uh, certainly, when U.S. Games told me they wanted me to design a Pez game, my first reaction was a what? <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of my designer friends were joking with me during the process. And yet, when I got to play it at the game shows this summer with them, uh, they were impressed too. So it. It's another one of those little little games that I didn't um, want to make anything very deep. I wanted to keep it light and fun, but I just added a little bit of extra strategy, and even gamers seem to enjoy it as a nice break from heavier games. Well, it, it was a real surprise to me. Like I said, I thought we were just going to do a show on this because it's kind of a cute topic, but uh, let's, let's get into it a little bit and kind of give us an overview of what we're talking about. Okay, well, the game revolves around the dispensers that come in a dispenser deck. Now, this is a collectible game in that there are 200 dispensers available in booster packs. When you buy a starting game, you'll get uh, 20 dispensers, which we picked out um, to be sort of run-of-the-mill, give a nice broad feel for the game, some small points and big points. The way you win the game is by getting, in the starter game, 25 points worth of dispensers in your area. And you do that by playing uh, flavor cards on the dispensers in the order that those flavors are listed top to bottom. On the right of the card, there's there's, there's these flavor bars where there's the color and the name of the flavor from top to bottom. And if you can uh, get all those flavor cards on in that order, you will score that dispenser, which means you discard the flavor cards and just keep the dispenser in front of you. Some of them are worth 10 points, uh, 3 points, up to 20 points for, for some. Um, so the first one to get 25 points in the basic game will win. The starter game can be played with up to four people, although we've played with up to eight when we get huge dispenser decks and uh, play the advanced game, which goes to 31 points when you start playing with the dispensers that are in the boosters. On your turn, you get two actions. One action is playing a flavor card on a dispenser. You have to start at the top. So let's say you have a dispenser that starts with a grape and you have a grape flavor card in your hand. You're going to start with five flavor cards from the flavor deck, which is a 100-card deck, 25 of each of the four flavors. So you put a grape on there, and you'll take the dispenser in front of you. So you're working on that dispenser. As one action, you can also play more than one of the same flavor card, as long as they're listed together on the dispenser. And you'll notice some dispensers will start with more than one of the same flavor or have more than one somewhere in its list. So you could play two grapes as one action to start one. And it's always better to do that because you're getting further along. And the secret of the game is to be efficient with your actions. Then you have a second action, which you can play the next flavor or start another dispenser. You can also use as an action, you can take a dispenser card off of one of the other player's dispensers. It has to be the last one they played on the dispenser, and they and you have to use the same flavor card that you're taking off. For instance, if you have a lemon card in your hand that you can't really use to help yourself, you could remove one of your opponent's lemon cards from their dispenser if it was the last one they played on it. If you remove the last disp- the last flavor card from a dispenser, it goes back to what we call dispenser row. Um, there's usually four dispensers there, uh, but there can be more because they can go back when people have taken the dispensers off, and you'll find the flavor cards off. The more gamers you play with, the more often they'll be looking to attack the other players and remove their flavor cards. Uh as far as the dispensers, each one has a different value based on how difficult it is to fill that particular Pez dispenser. Yes, there's a, there's a secret formula that I use that uh, most of the gamers can figure out. It's kind of a puzzle if you want to try to figure it out, but uh, there, is a, there is an exact formula to how those uh, points are uh, derived. Okay, so you didn't just put it, pull it out of a hat or something like that. No, no. Um, they're relative to how hard it is to make them, and very simply... For instance, uh, what you do is you count each separate flavor bar on the list as one point, 
And then you go back and count the list again, grouping the groups of the same flavors as one point. And you'll get the point total of each dispenser that way. And I went through it the second time because you can play more than one flavor at once. So that does make it a little easier to do rather than when they're listed separately. Oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I see now, finally. Oh, amazing. (laughs) Now, Uh, when you're playing with ones that have actions on them in the booster uh, packs, that's sort of the advanced game. They give you a chance to do special things when you have the dispenser. Those are reduced in their cost in a relative way to make up for their power. Uh, Why a uh, collectible card game? Well, um, what we wanted was a game where where we could take advantage of the fact that Pez dispensers are a collectible item. But we didn't want a game where people have to buy a lot of cards to build their own decks like most trading card games and the collectible games go. So this is sort of a new experiment. What we're doing, you're always playing with the same cards in your hand. They're, they're just the 100-car flavor deck. And I call this game sort of expandable maybe where if you want to, you can go out and buy some boosters to make your game more interesting. The way we play is we like to take about seven boosters and open them up, not look at them at all, shuffle them up, and then play. So we get sort of a new uh, set of dispensers each evening that we're going to sit down and play several games. You can also devise your own dispenser decks uh, with certain dispensers that you like, and you can set it up so you have some of the more interesting ones. It's a chance to do a little bit of game designing for people who are interested in that. And, of course, you can have a collection. Like, the company was nice enough to give me a notebook with all 200 dispensers when the game came out. So I actually have them all right now. And <laughs> if some people are, are so disposed, uh, they can go out. I don't think it takes too many uh, boosters, actually. Probably a couple boxes worth, and you could have the whole collection yourself. Uh, as far as the, uh, the design of this game, it's basically a rummy game, correct? This one is... Or would you not call it that? I wouldn't call it rummy, no, because you're you're playing onto the things in the center. I mean, I guess rummy in the sense that uh, you want to match up certain flavors together, but you're really trying to uh, to figure out which dispenser you can get quickly and which dispensers uh, you want to keep from the other players. Um, so it has a lot of, uh, do I play right now? Do I start a lot of dispensers at once, or do I save up to try to complete one, you know, a big one as soon as I can. So you have a lot of different ways to go in the game, just as a light uh, card game. But I wouldn't call it rough.